Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the last video, we discussed the synthetic anti-tubercular agents such as isoniazid, ethionamide and ethambutol. Click on the i button on top right of this video to watch it. See the description for the links of other topics of organic chemistry. In this lesson, we shall learn the two other synthetic anti-tubercular agents such as pyrazinamide and para-aminosalicylic acid. The first drug of this lesson is pyrazinamide. Pyrazinamide, abbreviated PZA, was discovered and patented in 1936 but not used against tuberculosis until 1952. Its discovery was remarkable since it has no activity against tuberculosis in vitro due to being active at a neutral pH, so it can be expected to be effective in vivo. However, nicotinamide was known to be effective for tuberculosis and pyrazinamide was thought to have a similar effect. Thus, it is the synthetic nitrogen analog or pyrazine analog of nicotinamide. Pyrazinamide is chemically known as pyrazine 2 carbon Boxamide. Despite its structural similarities to isoniazid and ethionamide, pyrazinamide apparently does not inhibit mycolic acid biosynthesis in mycobacteria. It possesses bactericidal action only against mycobacterium tuberculosis. As it is bactericidal against growing bacteria and is responsible for shortening the therapy to 6 months. Synthesis of pyrazinamide Pyrazinamide was first synthesized in 1952. It is synthesized from quinoxaline, which is prepared by reacting orthophenylene diamine with glyoxal. Oxidation of quinoxaline gives pyrazine 2,3-dicarboxylic acid. Upon heating of this dicarboxylic acid, it decarboxylizes to eliminate a molecule of carbon dioxide to give pyrazine 2-carboxylic acid. Esterifying the resulting acid with methanol in the presence of hydrogen chloride and further oxidation with this ester with ammonia give pyrazinamide. Pyrazinamide occurs as a white crystalline powder that is sparingly soluble in water and slightly soluble in polar solvents. Structure activity relationship Substitution on the pyrazine ring or use of alternate heterocyclic aromatic rings has given compounds with reduced activity. More recently, using a quantitative structure activity relationship, a series of analogs have been prepared with improved biological activity. The requirements for successful analogs include number 1. Provision for hydrophilicity to allow sufficient plasma concentrations such that the drug can be delivered to the site of infection. Number 2. Lipophilicity to allow penetration into the mycobacterial cell. And number three, susceptibility to hydrolysis such that the prodrug is unaffected by the extracellular enzymes but is readily hydrolyzed at the site of action. Two compounds have been found that meet these criteria. They are tertiary butyl 5 chloropyrazinamide and 2 2 methyl desyl 5 chloropyrazinamide. Mechanism of action. Pyrazinamide is a prodrug that inhibits the growth of mycobacterium tuberculosis. Pyrazinamide diffuses into the granuloma of mycobacterium tuberculosis where the tuberculosis enzyme pyrazinamidase converts pyrazinamide to the active form of pyrazinoic acid. Under acidic conditions of pH 5 to 6, the pyrazinoic acid that slowly leaks out converts to the protonated conjugate acid which is thought to diffuse easily back into the bacilli and accumulate. The net effect is that more pyrazinoic acid accumulates inside the bacillus at acid pH than at neutral pH. Pyrazinoic acid was thought to inhibit the enzyme fatty acid synthase which is required by the bacterium to synthesize fatty acids although this has been discounted. The accumulation of pyrazinoic acid was also suggested to disrupt membrane potential and interfere with the energy production necessary for survival of mycobacterium tuberculosis at an acidic site of the infection. However, since an acidic environment is not essential for pyrazinamide susceptibility and pyrazinamide treatment does not lead to intrabacterial acidification nor rapid disruption of membrane potential, this model has also been discounted. 
uses of pyrazinamide. Pyrazinamide is only used in combination with other drugs such as isoniazid and rifampicin in the treatment of mycobacterium tuberculosis and as a directly observed therapy. It is never used on its own. It has no other indicated medical uses. And the next drug is para-aminosalicylic acid. Para-aminosalicylic acid, abbreviated PAS, was discovered by Lehman in 1943. Chemically, it is known as 4-aminosalicylic acid. It is a salicylic acid possesses an amino group at the fourth position. It was the first effective treatment for tuberculosis but it is used as a second line drug today. A combination of bacterial resistance and severe side effects has greatly reduced its value. It is a bacteriostatic agent against mycobacterium tuberculosis and is not completely absorbed orally due to its hydrophilic nature as dictated by the functional groups attached to the benzene ring. Para-aminosalicylic acid was first synthesized by Seidel and Bittner in 1902. Its synthesis consists of direct interaction of meta-aminophenol with potassium bicarbonate and carbon dioxide while heating at a moderate pressure of 5 to 10 atmosphere. It occurs as a white to yellowish white crystalline solid that darkens on exposure to light or air. It is slightly soluble in water but more soluble in alcohol. Alkali metal salts and the nitric acid salt are soluble in water but the salts of hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid are not soluble. The compound upon heating undergoes decarboxylation to produce carbon dioxide and 3-aminophenol. An aqueous solution has a pH of approximately 3.2. Para-aminosalicylic acid works by incorporating into the folate pathway by dihydroterovate synthase and dihydrofolate synthase to generate a hydroxyl dihydrofolate antimetabolite which in turn inhibits dihydrofolate reductase enzymatic activity. Thus, it inhibits the synthesis of folic acid which is essential for the pathogen. It is primarily used for the treatment of tuberculosis infections. Specifically, it is used to treat active drug-resistant tuberculosis together with other anti-tubercular medications. It has also been used as a second-line agent to sulfasalazine in people with inflammatory bowel disease such as ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. It is typically taken by mouth. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video. The synthetic anti-tubercular agents such as pyrazinamide and para-aminosalicylic acid. In the next lesson, we will discuss the anti-tubercular antibiotics. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.